today with another what sold sunday on a monday yeah, that's right that's right not the greatest of weeks i must say no things were kind of slow but we had a uh, we actually had ebay do better this week than poshmark which is i think the first time that's ever happened ever 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 not saying that either one was particularly great no but we did sell a couple things so you want to just get right into it sure all right there was this American Eagle. Are we starting with Poshmark? Yeah, we always start with Poshmark. So we're okay. Gonna, we're gonna go Poshmark. Uh, this American Eagle bell sleeve top for fifteen bucks. Yeah, it's the soft and sexy line. Ooh. Those are really really soft. Yes. I mean, I don't know about the sexy part, but they're pretty <laughs> soft. They're amazing. I do pick those up when I see them for like a dollar. Yeah, but not many There's more than that. There's some sirens happening. Always sirens. Um, we also sold this Bowden polka dot button up classic shirt for $15. Right down the street from the hospital. So that happens a lot. Yeah, we sold this Bowden top. Uh, you might remember it from our Poshmark haul. Yes. It had a flaw on it. And yes, the flaw was disclosed, but I failed to read it. It was one of those like. Yeah. Buy oh, this well now. It. Right. Yeah, it was a quick buy, and so I got all nervous, and I was like, oh, I gotta put all these things in a bundle and buy it before somebody else does. So it did have a flaw, so we priced it accordingly, but it sold pretty quickly. Yeah, and it, it, it wasn't bad. It was like a small, tiny little pinhole up in the shoulder. So, yeah. um, What else did we sell? We sold this Soul Cycle tank top. Yep. For 18 bucks. It was awesome. That was yep. from Posh, too. Yeah. This, I didn't expect it to sell that fast. Is this the one that came with the patches you bought? Yes. Nice. I bought some Handmaid's Tail patches. I couldn't <laughs> resist. And so I didn't want to buy just one thing because it was $7, and the patches were only $5. Yep. So I just threw in this Cycle shirt because I didn't want to spend more money, but this was like 6 bucks. I don't know. We made money on it. Hey, awesome. And so we got free patches, and we made some money. Perfect. Nice. Uh, this postage stamp skirt. From what anthropology, right? Yeah, we showed that. It was from a Poshmark. That sold for twenty bucks. Yeah. So the market is saturated in these. There was tons of them, and so we got a twenty dollar offer the night that I listed it, or the day after or something. Yeah, it was real quick. And uh, we took it because there was like eight hundred more listed. So if you get an offer, I would say even if it's half, which this probably was. Yeah. I still took it. Yeah. But you know, I mean, you do enough research to know that, hey, there's a bunch of these listed and we should take whatever offer we get, so. Well, yeah, anytime an offer comes in, I look at the saturation level because right. you never know if that offer is going to come back. Exactly. Yeah. So, um, okay. We also sold these very awesome high-waisted shorts, leopard print for 20 bucks. They were super sweet. We paid a dollar for those, mm -hmm. I think, or a couple bucks. I also sourced these on Poshmark. They were vintage, right? They were vintage yeah. and they were super cool. I thought they would sell quicker. But I think we had them for about a month. Yeah, especially, I think we got them right at the height of the Tiger King hysteria. Right? <laughs> so we thought they'd go really fast. But, eh. The girl who got them loves them. So that's okay, good. that's right. Yeah. We also sold, babe, we got, it's the last one. The I last. Can't, I can't talk about it. The last drawing mat. It's gone. All right, our first retail arbitrage <laughs> attempt. We went to Home Goods to try to get hard goods. And we found these Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse dish drying mats and they were very cheap and so we bought all of them and they were supposedly supposedly good job thank you mm -hmm. very popular yeah so we looked them up on like sell hound and they i don't know okay whatever we bought like 20 of them <gasps> i'm so sick of selling these <laughs> things. yeah we finally got rid of the last one for 14 Yay! bucks so we probably made about eh, we probably double or triple our money on them because we probably got for three bucks or four bucks a piece yeah they were super cheap yeah anyway moving on no more drying mats we also sold this this is a harley davidson uh short sleeve button-up shirt yeah i can't believe this didn't sell quicker yeah we had this listed for a really really long time and then it's the same old story we relisted it and it sold basically immediately after we relisted it yeah this isn't the first time it's been relisted 
Okay. I always thought like, oh, just refresh it and it'll sell. Well, it doesn't always happen. Sometimes you have to like re relist it at the right, right time. Yep. So we were at like man time. I think it was like nine o'clock at night on a Sunday or something. It was like when men would be shopping. Right. So I, I have this idea in my head of relisting. Like I want to create this strategy where you relist certain things at certain times for certain buyers. Okay. That could work. I'll anyway. let you know how it works yeah. out. That sold for 25 bucks anyway. I don't think that was good. Saying. Yep. Uh, we sold this Nike mm -hmm. dry fit shorts for 12 bucks. Meh. They work. were in the $7 sale, so I'm happy with 12 Yeah, and I guarantee you we didn't pay more than a dollar for them. Yeah. So. Uh, and then we sold the last thing this week on Poshmark, this Everlane button-down shirt uh, for $14. You guys, Everlane men does not move for us. Mm -mm. We've had a couple of Everlane pieces, and they just sit. And sit. And I sit. love the concept of the brand. Love that it's sustainable. Love it. Men, I don't know. What, what's up? I don't know. But that was it for Poshmark. Yeah, okay. Yeah, not so great. Mm. Speaking of not so great, we had one wholesale on Mercari. You guys, how do you sell things on Mercari? Seriously, somebody tell me in the comments. I have been doing the promotions every day. I've been sending offers. What do you do? I, I, I got nothing. We got nothing. So, and it's makeup that sold for 12 bucks, this clay mask. Yeah, I got it in a boxy charm, and I don't use clay masks, so I put it on Mercari. Out of here. You know, it's been on Poshmark for quite a long time. Never, never even got any interest. Yeah, I don't know if have we sold any. Yeah, a couple things. Couple, yeah, that's right. Yeah. I think okay. the the rumor on the street is makeup does well on Mercari, so we got a whole drawer of it. We'll try it. Yeah. Uh, moving on to eBay. So this was, I think, our best week on eBay. Okay, eBay. It it's starting to. I think you're listing every day theory is paying off because our seller dashboard no seriously it said our like f according the last over the last 30 days we were up like over 100 percent yes so even though vendu went down on us yeah wait that didn't sound right it didn't it uh it crashed <laughs> for three days it wasn't able to post to ebay and notice she said vendu and not list perfectly so we're cheating we switched it happens. Try something different. It works. It's better. better? It's better. If better. you want a video, let us know. Sorry, it was perfectly. <laughs> Vendu's doing it better for us, except for when they drop the ball. Right. I mean, it, but we also use way less platforms, so it just makes more sense for us. Sometimes, maybe, you know, this perfectly makes sense for other people. Sure. We're not here to tell you which way to go. Nope. Um, eBay sales. Bonobos. You said that word. Bonobos. Say Bonobos. 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 We don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> but it's a Henley shirt, and it's gray, and it was $20. You want a story time about this? We had this listed in Poshmark for like six months, mm -hmm. and it looked like a pajama shirt. Yeah, it's it Henley, did. and it had like the little three buttons. Mm -hmm. And then I found a stock photo of it when I was relisting it on Vendu, and uh, it sold the next day. Instantly. Um, moving on. These Columbia 30 by 34 cargo pants, $10. Whatever. They were in the $7 sale. So. Bye. Hey, whatever. Uh, more Columbia, a extra, extra large blue and green plaid button-down shirt for 18 Okay. A little bit better. Uh, these were from the B&G box, right? The No One Cares camouflage jogging pants. I have a Not little good. issue with these. They were new tag, mm -hmm. but the tag wasn't as much as B&G said that the minimum in our box would be. Really? Yeah, and they were. Oh, on it was sale. supposed to be what was it? Sixty nine dollars plus. And I think those were like fifty five or something. Either way, they were on sale at Nordstrom Rack, on the rack still. Like you could go onto the internet and buy them for twelve dollars. Oh. Yeah, so I didn't know what to do with them. I'm like, should we hold on to? Either way, I wasn't gonna make more. I was gonna break even on those pants. Yeah. They were not profitable. No. But you fifteen dollars sales price after fees, we're gonna yeah break even. Yeah, it was probably eleven bucks. We paid for each of those on the mm -hmm. B&G box. Yep. Issue. Issue. Oh, and should we do the card for the B&G video? Put it up here somewhere? Oh, yeah. If you want to see our B&G video, it was pretty cool. The box was pretty awesome. We got a premiere box, $69 plus, yep. 50 pieces. Mm -hmm. And we can uh, link it in the cards. Yep. I'll do that for you guys. And okay. then speaking of B&G, we have 
three orders on the way. We sure do. Wow. Like and subscribe to this video if you'd like to see our BNG unboxings. I love watching them. Yeah, that's your favorite thing to watch. It's like gambling. I love it so much. <laughs> I love to see what people get. Okay, uh, moving on with sales. We got mm, mm, Royal Robins button down yeah. shirt for 18 bucks. Hit or miss. Yeah. That brand is hit or miss. That's all I know. Uh, we sold these shoes for $8. We had them on an auction, but they weren't getting any action. So somebody sent an offer for 8 bucks, mm. and I took it. Because the opening bid for the auction, I think, was $8. So whatever. We got them out of here. They were free. We made a few bucks. Uh, these Tommy Bahama silk shorts for 15 Those are some mom shorts. Yes, they were. They had pleats. Lots and lots of pleats. And they were flowy. Flowy. I was glad to get them out of here. Unlike Not all Tommy Bahama does well. Ooh. The polar opposite of these jeans, of these shorts, the blank NYC pink cutoff shorts. These are not from a B&G box, though many people do sell blank NYC from a B&G yeah, box. Yeah, we got a couple of those pieces in ours. But this is not from that. Nope. These we got for a dollar somewhere. And they sold for 25 Love it. 25. That's great. I think the exposed button is like really is key right now. Is that what Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cool. We also sold this triangle bikini. Maybe mismatched, may not be. Yeah, they went together. They sure. they go. Okay. They don't match, they go. So uh, it says we sold it for 45 but the buyer, you sent them an offer for 35 and the buyer somehow, I don't know, ended up clicking buy it now on the original price or something instead of the offer price. So they reached out to me, sent me a message, and asked if I would be so kind as to refund them the difference. And Yay! I, and I did. So I sent them back nine bucks and change and whatever. So it sold for thirty-five, not forty-five. Okay. These thirty-four heritage shorts sold for fifteen. I don't know where we got these. I just re-listened. They're a good brand. Remember yeah, yeah. when I was looking them up, I'm like, whoa, mm -hmm. what is it called? The 34 Heritage. Nevada shorts. Yep. So when Dan looked them up in the store, I'm guessing you saw that they were like $100 shorts. Yeah, they retail for like 135 But bucks. these look like somebody just like wore them 100 times and threw them out the window, run, run them over with their car, and then <laughs> donated them to Goodwill and sold them to us. It looked like that. Yes. Especially in the pictures. But when I looked that up, that's how they're supposed to look. Yeah. Uh, like I said. You know, 15 bucks, not the greatest sale, but still, we probably paid a dollar for them somewhere. Yeah, and we learned that just because the brand, this was early in the game. Right. Just because it's got a high retail price doesn't necessarily mean it's going to have yeah. a good resale. Yeah, price. you've got to look it up on Posh and see, and even if it's on Posh with a good selling price, mm -hmm. it's not good unless you look at the comps that have actually sold. Right. We've learned a lot. Yeah. It's been a fun year. It's been educational. Speaking of learning a lot. Yeah, well, these were free, free shoes. I listed a auction Sunday. <laughs> I started them for 99 cents, and we got one bid, and that's it. So they sold for 99 cents. Is that the last sale? Please tell me that's not the last sale. That's that's the last sale. Oh my, that's so embarrassing. Yeah. So we're, we're gonna. Up, I know. We're gonna uh, put the reserve a little higher. <laughs> Or just the starting price. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the starting price. Whatever. Those were terrible. They're, we thought we were never going to sell them. Well, 99 cents. Whatever. With the fees and everything, how much is that? Oh, I'd love to know. Okay, anyway. We're probably paying somebody to do <laughs> them. After we ship them, we're we probably paying somebody. We should have just donated them. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, our totals for the week were $134 on Poshmark. Okay. $11 on Mercari, Oof. and $143 on eBay. Yikes. So not the greatest week. That's like a total of around 288 I believe. Um, You'll notice that we didn't sell many yeah. high-end items this week, and that's nope. normally what pads our sales numbers a little bit. Hey, we just got an offer. Yes. I hope it's good. I know. Don't you hate that? It doesn't tell you <laughs> in the notification. <laughs> oh, I hate that. But normally our menswear and some of our higher-end uh, women's workwear, it's really, we're taking a hit on that right now because people aren't working. They're right. not wearing suits. They're not wearing our Diane von Furstenberg dresses that our closet's full of. So we're learning to yep. adapt. Yep. And we're listing more summer stuff. We're sourcing more casual loungewear and trying to find that balance. So if you subscribe, you can see us every single Monday and learn what we sold the previous week. Yep. Some weeks it's good, and some weeks it's... Not wah, so good. Wah. 
Anyway, we hope you guys have a great week. Thanks yep. for staying until the end. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.